I crocheted my first pair of shorts. And I think this is a great first shorts pattern because the way they wrap around makes them super adjustable. I was inspired by similar wraparound bottoms in sewing patterns and adapted it for crochet using granny squares. I think it worked out really well. Just note that when you wear these shorts, some might find you extra cozy. For this pattern, I used Ice Yarns Baby Cotton, a DK weight 100% cotton yarn, but you can use any weight yarn because I'll be giving you the absolute measurements that we're working towards. But I do think that cotton is essential for the pattern, just to help tip the scales towards beachy as opposed to blanky. <laughs> You'll also need a bit of an accent color for the trim and straps, plus a suitable hook kinda on the larger side for your yarn. I used a 4.5 millimeter. So first I'll show you how I made my granny squares. Feel free to use your preferred square pattern, as long as it's a sort of square that you can grow to any width. I started with a chain four ring. Chain up three. Two double crochets into the ring to make your first granny cluster. Chain two and work three double crochets into the ring. Repeat that with another chain two, three double crochet. And repeat once more, chain two, three double crochet. And to complete this round, chain two, and we'll slip stitch into the top of that starting chain three. Round two. I like to chain, turn, and slip stitch into the nearest chain space. Now that I'm in the chain space, I can start my first granny cluster of the round with a chain three and work two more double crochets into the chain space. Now this will be our first corner, so we're gonna do a chain two and work one more granny cluster into the same chain space. Next, we'll chain one to get over to the other corner and work a corner into that corner with two granny clusters and a chain two between them. Repeat, chain one, Work a corner into the next chain space. Again, chain one and work a final corner into the last available chain space. To complete this round, we'll chain one and slip stitch into the top of starting chain three. Round three and all rounds after. Chain one, turn, slip stitch into the nearest chain one space. Chain up three and complete a granny cluster into the chain one space by working two more double crochets.
chain 1 to get over to the next chain space, and if it's a chain 2 space, work one cluster, chain 2, and another cluster into the corner chain 2 space, And when you chain one over to a chain one space, work one granny cluster into those chain one spaces. Continue working around and chain one, slip stitch to the top of the starting chain three to complete the round. Working like this, you can make a granny square of any size. And for these shorts, you'll need four big squares and two small squares. How big and how small, you ask? Well, for all sizes, the small squares will be six by six inches, or 15 centimeters. To find the width needed for your larger squares, you'll need your hip measurement. So say that's 36 inches. You'll then subtract 10 inches from that hip measurement, and whatever that number is, Divide by two, and that will be your big square width. For me, it was 13 inches. Just a note, if your large square is larger than 18 inches, the shorts will start to get a bit longer. So if you need a square wider than 18, consider only widening them on the sides to keep the shorts nice and short. Next, we'll add the trim. In your accent color, grab one of your big squares and choose a corner. Fasten onto one of the chains in that corner. chain three, and work two double crochets into the chain space. Now you can continue along this edge of your square in the accent color, maintaining the granny square pattern. Work one corner normally, and when you reach your third corner, work one granny cluster into the corner chain space. And while working the final double crochet, do it into one of the chains of the chain two space. So you'll have two sides with an accent color, and you can do that for all four big squares, and we'll just leave the little squares plain. Then you're going to assemble your pieces like this, and we'll do our first bit of seaming, which is just along this edge here where the little square meets your big squares. So I'll show you how I do that. I'm going to line up my cream edges with the accent color row just kind of hanging off here. And I'll insert my hook into the first corner chains and fasten on my seaming yarn. Working into the loop closest to me on one side and furthest from me on the other side, slip stitch them together. So that is what we're doing, just grabbing one loop on each side to do a simple granny square slip stitch seam. You can do that for each double crochet stitch and chain stitch, one for one. And when you work into the last chain corner on the little square, you're done with this seam. The seam will have a bumpy side and a flat side. And go ahead and do that for both of the sides where your little square meets your big squares. Do the very same thing for the remaining three squares, and then you'll have two identical pieces that look like this. We're gonna match them up with the flat seams facing each other. Time for the next bit of seaming, all along this center U shape. And that's it. The top edges and sides and bottom will all be open. 
So I went ahead and did that U seam because it's exactly like the seam we just did. And now it's time for the magic. Ready? Ta-da! Now it's shorts. <laughs> cool, huh? All that's left is to add the straps, and then I'll show you how we wear these things. So you really can add two straps along the top edge of the front and back pieces any way you'd like. The straps will be 70 to 80 inches if you want that kind of crisscross double wrap and tie like I did. You can make the straps and seam them on, but I wanted to work right onto the shorts. So I started with a chain that was about 20 inches long, which was 70 chains for me. Then I can attach that chain right onto this corner. I'm gonna work a half double crochet right into the side of this corner granny cluster. And now my chain is attached. We'll come back to it later. I'm gonna work in solid half double crochet along this edge so I'll work one more in the side of this double crochet, one into the chain space, and now I'm just going to work one half double crochet stitch for each stitch of my granny squares, including the chains. You can pop a stitch or two in the seam as well. When you reach the opposite corner, go ahead and work one stitch into the chain space, two along the edge of the cluster, and now I can chain to match the chain that I made on the other side. So I'll chain 70 plus a turning chain. Now I can just work back the other way, in half double crochet, along the chain as if it was a foundation chain. When I reached the shorts, I started working in camel stitch by inserting my hook up under this front bar to complete the half double crochets. So for a strap just like mine, work in camel stitch. And I did that for a total of four rows to make my straps. Now I'll demonstrate how to wear this thing. So grab one strap and center the piece on your body, wrap the straps around and tie in the front like so. I think if my strap was a little longer, I could do a bow, but I just tied them. Then you've got your little conjoined short here. Gracefully tuck it between your legs and crisscross these straps in the front. And that's how you wear probably the easiest crochet shorts you'll ever make. But I'm betting these won't be your last crochet shorts. So if you're already wondering, hmm, how do we make some shorts that are a little less see-through or ones that maybe don't wrap around? Well, subscribe and stay tuned because I think I'm feeling more confident to tackle some more shorts and bottoms patterns in the future. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye. I tried to blow it. Cool. Oh, there it goes. Uh, uh, uh. Say hi. Hi. <laughs>